In this video, let me consider one numerical on null loop analysis. In the circuit shown below, use loop analysis to find the power delivered to the 4 ohm register. So this is the given circuit. So in this circuit, we are supposed to calculate the power delivered to the 4 ohm register. We need to use loop analysis method. Here we can observe that this circuit consists of three loops. Let me assume current through this loop is say I1. Let me assume current through this loop is I2. Let me assume current through this loop is I3. So in this circuit we can also observe that in loop I3 there is already a current source. So we no need to apply KVL to this loop. So current I3 is nothing but 2 amps. So I can say I3 is equal to 2 amp. Let me call it as equation 1. Here we can also observe that there is a current source between two loops. That is in between loop I1 and I2 there is a current source. So if there is a current source between two loops we need to analyze current source first. So let me analyze this current source. I can write this current source 8 amp as that is 8 is equal to I2 minus I1. I2 minus I1. I have taken I2 first because current 8 amp and I2 are flowing in same direction. That is for example, assume that this is branch AB. So here 8 amp is flowing from B to A. Current I2 is moving from B to A whereas current I1 is moving from A to B. So I can write 8 is equal to I2 minus I1. Let me call it as equation 2. After analyzing the current source we should assume that this 8 amp is removed from the circuit. If we remove this 8 amp from the circuit then we can observe that there is only one loop around this current source. This entire loop is known as super loop. Now let me apply KVL to this entire loop known as super loop. That is apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to the super loop. So let me start from here. That is we can write 24 is equal to voltage across one ohm register is that is 1 into in 1 ohm two currents are flowing one is I1 another one is I3. I1 and I3 flowing in same direction in 1 ohm register so it will be I1 plus I3 plus then current will flow through 3 ohm register that is 3 into here I2 and I3. I2 is flowing from in this direction I3 is also flowing in same direction so it will be I2 plus I3. Let me see. So here then current flows through 4 ohm register that is plus 4 I2. Let me simplify this that is 24 is equal to I1 plus I3 plus 3 I2 plus 3 I3 plus 4 I2. So 24 is equal to here we have I1 plus 4 plus 3 that is 7 I2 plus we have 4 I3. Let me simplify 24 is equal to I1 plus 7 I2 plus I3 value is 2 here that is 4 into 2. So I can write 24 is equal to I1 plus 7 I2 plus 8 or I can write 24 minus 8 is equal to I1 plus 7 I2 or 16 is equal to I1 plus 7 I2. Let me call it as equation 3. So, so now we need to simplify equation 2 and 3 to find the values of I1 and I2. That is solving equation 2 and 3 we get so equation 2 is this equation 2 I will rewrite it as 8 is equal to minus I1 plus I2. So 
so let me use calculator to simplify this so now to simplify this keep calculator in equation mode that is equation mode choose the first option since we have only two unknown variables here a b c a is with respect to coefficient of i1 b is with respect to coefficient of i2 and c is nothing but this value that is 8 so it will be minus 1 1 and 8 that is minus 1 1 and it is 8 so now consider the second equation so here coefficient of i1 is 1 press equal coefficient of i2 is 7 press equal and this value is 16 press equal and press equal once again so x is with respect to i1 so i1 is equal to minus 5 y is with respect to i2 so i2 is equal to 3 so we have i1 is equal to minus 5 i1 is equal to minus 5 amp and i2 is equal to 3 amp so after finding i1 and i2 now the question is find the power delivered to the 4 ohm register so in this circuit in 4 ohm register current i2 is flowing therefore i can write so therefore power delivered to the 4 ohm register that is power delivered to the 4 ohm is that is p is equal to i2 square into r so i2 value is 3 that is 3 square into r r is this value that is 4 ohm that is 4 that is p is equal to 9 into 4 which is equal to 36 watts so therefore power delivered to the 4 ohm is equal to 36 watts thank you for watching